Hi, it's Ashley from Through the Loop Yarn Craft, and today we're going to learn the mixed cluster stitch. This is a continuation of the cluster stitch series I've been going through over on my blog and YouTube. I love the cluster stitches. They bring so much texture and style. They're a little bit dense, but they work great for so many different projects. Today I'll be using a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook from Girls Crochet with their new navy color and some Bravo worsted weight yarn provided by We Crochet. If you enjoy the cluster series and this stitch tutorial, please subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date on any new videos and give it a thumbs up and let me know that you enjoy it. So let's dive into the mixed cluster stitch. So today we'll be learning the mixed cluster stitch by working in rows. So we were going to start with our foundation row and we'll make our slip knot and then we're going to work in with chain of multiples of two. So we are going to do, we'll do 16 chains. We're going to do our first row of a single crochet and we're going to start in the second chain from the hook. There's one and two. And then we're going to do a single crochet in each chain across. there's row one. So to move on to row two, we're going to chain one and turn our work. And we will start with one half double crochet in this first stitch here, and that will help us keep our edges straight. So now we will begin our mixed cluster stitch. And we will start in the same spot that we just did the half double crochet. And we're going to start by doing a half of a double crochet. So we're going to yarn over, insert into that same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through just the first two loops on our hook. And there's our half of a double crochet. So to continue on with the next part of the mixed cluster, we're going to skip the next stitch and insert the hook into the one after that and pull up a loop and I like to pull a little bit high so we get a nice even stitch there and this helps to keep the stitches even as well as on the last step when we're pulling through all the loops on our hook it makes it a little easier to glide through all the six loops. So then we're going to yarn over again and insert into that same spot we just used, pull up a loop and now we have the six loops on our and we will yarn over and pull through all six loops and then we will chain one to finish that off. So there we have our first mixed cluster stitch. So to do the next one we'll yarn over 
And we're going to start this into that same spot that we just used. Pull up a loop. And again, we're going to pull through just those first two loops. Yarn over, skip one stitch, and working into the next. And then that same spot. And pull through all six. And chain one. So there we go. We have two mixed clusters. So now we're going to continue that all the way across. And remember to start your next mixed cluster in the same spot you just finished. And so the last one in the row will be a little bit different. So we will start the same way with our go through two. Skip this one and working in the top of that last stitch there. Now we're going to pull through all those six loops. And this time we are not going to do the chain one. What we will do is yarn over and into that same stitch, make one half double crochet to end the row. And there we have our first row. To move on to the next, we're going to chain one and turn our work. So to begin row three, we're going to single crochet in each of the stitches and the chain spaces across. So we will start right under our chain one again, and one single crochet, and then in this next stitch right here, the top. And into this next stitch right here, and we will do that all the way across. And then single crochet into the top of that last stitch. And we will chain one and turn our work. So now we will do a repeat of row two, where we started with the half double crochet. And now we will do our mixed cluster stitches, starting in that same spot again. Skipping a stitch, working into the next. And 
and repeating all the way across. again when you're on the last one you're not going to do that chain one roll yarn over and finish off with a half double crochet then you can just continue that on for however big you'd like just repeating the mixed cluster stitch row and the single crochet row to any size you'd like and there we go. That's the mixed cluster crochet stitch. This stitch, as I said, works great in so many different patterns. On my blog, you can find the Alpen cowl and the Alpen ear warmer, which both use the mixed cluster stitch. Thank you so much for joining me. And please don't forget to subscribe and give a little thumbs up. And I will be back soon with more patterns and tutorials for you. And if you'd like to stay in the loop, go ahead and subscribe to my email newsletter as well. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye!